Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 5th of 2022, well, it is titled Lunar Eclipse at the South Pole. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image from May 16th when a lunar eclipse occurred that was visible at the South Pole. And here are a number of images it, of it. As you can see, the going from the partial phase, where just a portion of the moon is passing into Earth's shadow, to the full phase towards the center there where the moon will appear a deep blood red as it is completely immersed in deep shadow of the Earth. Now, the Earth's shadow is not completely dark because we have an atmosphere. The atmosphere allows especially longer wavelengths of red light to be bent into the shadow, meaning that anything in the shadow, instead of completely disappearing, which is what would happen if we did not have an atmosphere, it turns a deep blood red color. And that gives us that distinctive color of the eclipsed moon. Now, lunar eclipses do occur uh, quite often. However, we have one coming up on November 8th, which is another chance to view a lunar eclipse, which is visible over much of the Pacific and parts of Asia and North America. And it's really the last chance to see a total lunar eclipse for several years. The next one after this will be 2025. Although we will have some nice solar eclipses coming up over the next couple of years. So the last chance coming up here just in a few days to be able to see a total lunar eclipse if you happen to be positioned in the right areas. Now we also in the sky see a couple of other things. We see the southern lights, Aurora Australis. We also see Aurora Borealis in the north northern hemisphere. Those are the northern lights. These are the southern lights because we are at the South Pole. However, the process by which they are formed is the same. It is particles from the sun that strike the Earth's magnetic field and get funneled down toward the magnetic poles. So that's why the Aurora are far more prominent at very high and very low latitudes, very close to the two poles. We also see uh, to the upper uh, right hand side our Milky Way, a portion of our Milky Way galaxy, which is of course our galaxy as we see it from within. And then down on the on the Earth there we see a couple of telescopes, which are a couple of the South Pole telescopes that are set up in that part of the world to be able to observe the universe. So that was our picture of the day for November 5th of 2022. It was titled Lunar Eclipse at the South Pole. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be inverted sun day. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.